where did the silver caddy start how or how uh i'm still trying to figure out that question uh it it happened just uh because i guess it was meant to to happen it was uh a downtime for me looking for the next right move and and people would call desperate looking for suggestions and you know where they should send or what they should do or or whatever and these families needed to get help themselves and so um you know it started out to help their son and then turned into coaching empowering and helping families and then you know more and more people are calling about getting out of treatment so i spent you know six years or so seven years getting people into treatment but my phone was ringing with people leaving treatment or about to leave treatment and families desperate for what's next they just didn't want to get right back in the spin cycle of sending their loved one in and out of treatment for the rest of their lives and so they would call me and looking for the next right answer so it kind of just happened by accident uh i i was desperate to to get people into treatment and uh my phone kept ringing for people leaving treatment and trying to get uh the next right thing so uh i just i love to empower and inspire people to get into long-term recovery and treatment is just a small aspect of it and actually the real growth for me came when i got out of treatment and needed life skills and inspiration and I was emotionally numb coming out of treatment even though I spent as, as much time as possible trying to get in touch with these feelings it's it's an ongoing thing for me to become a no, emotionally numb to feeling digesting and processing anger loneliness fear pain shame joy even so 